The user management module of Instant Atlas Server allows you to control access to the Instant Atlas Server user website and its outputs. It is typically used to hide sensitive datasets from particular groups of users, but can also be used to personalize the type of content a particular user group has access to. This first diagram shows how user groups can be used to restrict access. The top set of users who are not logged in are automatically assigned to user group 1, and therefore only have access to a restricted set of outputs, in this case data and indicators 1 through 5 only. However, once a user is registered and logged in, they may be able to access a wider range of data and outputs. This is represented by the users in user group 2. You can see that they have access to further data views, indicators and profiles. Finally, there is a third user group, to which you, only two users have been added. These users have access to the same outputs as those in user group 2, but also have access to further outputs and more sensitive data. User management can also be used to assign users to particular user groups to suit their particular interests. This is shown in this diagram. You can see that a user who registered because they're interested in health statistics has been placed in a health user group and therefore only have access to datasets to rel that relate to their area of interest. Further users may be part of a crime user group or an education user group, again only having access to outputs that represent their interest. So how does it actually work? Well the first step is for your site visitor to register. They can do this by using the register link on the home page of the Instant Atlas Server website. Clicking this will take them to a registration form into which they can input a username, a password, an email address and a security question that's used for retrieving their password should they lose it. Once registered, the administrator of the website will automatically be emailed informing them that a new user has registered. The site administrator then logs into the site administrative website and goes to the user management module to manage the individual users. You can see that my user has been registered but requires activation. As a site administrator I've clicked activate to activate this user and I can then edit the user and go to the membership tab to add my particular user to user groups. You can see that I'm automatically part of some existing user groups I'm also going to add myself to the old data user group and the preview users user group. I simply click update to save. User groups are managed by the administrator through these screens. The administrator simply selects the particular user group that they wish to edit the rights for, clicks the link to start editing these rights. They are taken to a screen from where they control access to individual data views, indicators, profiles and resources. They can, for example, control access to individual data views by selecting a theme from the right hand side, selecting an individual data view and moving it to the left hand side box. You'll notice from this screen that it's possible to not only set rights on data views as a whole, but also to set granular permissions on individual data view by geography combinations. We simply click update to save these permissions. Now if we return back to our end user, once their account has been activated, they will have been emailed to notify them that they are now ready to return to the site and log in. They do this using the box on the left hand side of the screen. They enter their username and their password and click login. 
depending upon the rights that the administrator has assigned to them, they may now have access to further data. One of the extra features that your users may find useful is being able to save particular Instant Atlas server outputs to their profile. For example, if they're interested in a particular data view, such as a crime data view, they're able to navigate to this data view and add it to their favourites. What this does is add it to their favourites tabs and saves it for the next time that they log in. So when the user returns, they're able to navigate to their favourites tab and quickly access the data view from their favourites. Users are able to save a lot of other things as favourites too, including profiles, resources, and individual groups of geographic areas and indicators. This is particularly useful to data analysts who often perform repeat analysis on the same geographic set of features or indicators. The user management module allows a great range of flexibility in how your users interact with your website. Perhaps you want the majority of your data to be available to everyone, but to restrict a small number of data snippets to a small number of users only. Alternatively, you'd like to hide everything on the, on the site and effectively force all users to register and log in. It's all possible. The user management module is built upon standard .NET technology and this allows it to be integrated with existing user management systems that are already being used within your organization, allowing for seamless transition for your end users between the different websites.